Hi everyone and welcome to episode number six of our Config Mess 2022. My name is Johan and in this demo you will learn to rapidly deploy virtual machines for Intune testing, for Windows Autopilot testing, or for any type of testing where you may need a virtual machine or five. Demo time. You need to have some sort of media either Windows 10 media or Windows 11 media. In this case, I downloaded the latest Windows 11 ISO that was available. So that was a November updated 2022 H2 version of Windows 11. Once you have that ISO, you can um, create WIM files. It can be as simple as just exporting the right index directly from the ISO. It can be using building customized image using OS the Builder using WIMWITCH, using a build and capture process, whatever you prefer. Once you have the WIM file, you can easily convert it to a virtual hard drive. And once you have that virtual hard drive, you can spin up a bunch of machines, virtual machines, very, very quickly. So let's get to it. What I have here, and all these scripts, I publish a link here below the video, so you can download them from my GitHub repository. But in this case, I have a PowerShell script that simply exports the enterprise index out of the downloaded ISO file. So in my case, I downloaded the ISO file to this folder here, so my F colon ISO folder. I specified a target folder for my WIM file. I specified a name for it, and I specified what index I wanted to extract out of this ISO file. So if I go to the WIM folder on my C drive here, you can see I currently only have a WIM file for Windows 10, but I want one for Windows 11 as well. So I'm going to run this script. It's going to go through fairly quickly, usually 20, 30 seconds at most. Sure enough, completed. If I go back to my WIM folder, I now have a Windows 11 image as well. Now, the next step is con convert this to a virtual hard drive. And for that, I'm using a very popular PowerShell script called Convert to Windows Image. It's been available for a long time. I'm using a fork for it that is updated for the later versions of both Windows 10 and Windows 11. To run that script, if I go down here, you simply specify the WIM file, you specify the edition, and you specify where you want the virtual hard drive. So if I go to that folder, you can see I currently do not have a Windows 11 for 22H2. I only have one for 21H2. So if I go ahead and run these here, and then this line here, it will create a somewhat large hard drive, reasonable at least, 240 gigs in size. It's going to be a VHDX file, and it's going to be a UFI based partitioning layout on it. So a generation two VM will be created from this. So I'll run this. This process typically takes a minute or two, but I will make sure to edit out the weights. So you don't have to sit here for two minutes and just waiting for this one to complete. Perfect, this process is completed. If I head over to that folder again, you now see that I have a fresh 22H2 virtual hard drive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna borrow that path and I'm gonna go over to this script here that I'm using to create virtual machines. And I'm gonna configure it to use that particular virtual hard drive. I specify your locations for my VM. I specify a virtual switch for my virtual machines or for the VMs, I specify a memory size, and then I will simply create a few names here or a few, a little array of machines that we would like to build. And then further down in the script, there's a simple loop here that for each name in this array, it will create a virtual machine and it will base it on that virtual hard drive that I created earlier. So this one here. This allows me to deploy five VMs in about five minutes. To make the deployment automated, 
I also have an under 10 file that I'm using. And if I go to that under 10 file, it's probably the smallest under 10 file you'll see, but it has everything in it to simply join a work group, provide automated settings, log in automatically with an admin account, set the time zone, and also automate the out of box experience here. So a very, very simple, basic under 10 file, but it certainly does the job. So if I go back to this script here, run the script, it's now going to go ahead and create five virtual machines for me. Going to allow the for each loop to finish up, and then I will switch over to the Hyper-V manager and show you what's going on there. That was five virtual machines created. If I head over to my Hyper-V manager, we have a few VMs running here now in various states on their deployment. If I click on one of them here, it's currently in the specialized path of the deployment. This one here, uh, a little bit further down in the process, that's a final reboot of it. And this one here just started up in the specialized pass again. But what I can simply do now is I can um, sit tight for a few minutes and then come back and uh, check in on one of these virtual machines. Going to open this one so we can see what's going on. Move that to the side. The deployment finished, and now I have five virtual machines I can start to play around with for my Intune testing. That was all for today. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye for now.